What's up guys? My name is Amra from the Ramblin' Richardsons. Welcome to the channel. And today, we're gonna take a page out of the book of another YouTuber, Wicked's Wiccans, Wicked Reptiles. And we're gonna do a top five axolotl behaviors that you should know. That'll be on this video. So, stick around and let's get into what's going on. Also, do me a huge favor and go down there and like, subscribe, ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of the videos that we post. It would mean a huge thing to me if you did, and it doesn't cost a single dime. I appreciate everybody else out there who's already subscribed. Thumbs up, and let's get into it. Okay. Number one on the list. I guess we'll count up. Let's no, let's count down. Number five is going to be chilling. Either on the bottom or just around in the enclosure, just being still. This is pretty common for axolotls. They are the most active animal because they typically are going to be out during the evening time. So if you have them set up in an enclosure and you're around during the day, you may see them out and about, but they're not going to be extremely active as they're definitely nocturnal type animals. And this is normal to just see them chilling in one spot for a little while. The <clears throat> most common behavior that we have on the list here and you all might also might see them just chilling in their hide or out of the way if you have any other kind of things to enrich their enclosures. So they may be chilling in something that you have for them to get out of the light because they don't have eyelids. And light is, they're very sensitive to light or they just might need some comfort because you're really big and they're really small. All right, number four most common axolotl behaviors is floating. Axolotls float. They'll hang out on top of things in their enclosure or in their aquarium. They'll hang out on top of their hides. If you put glass jars, they'll hang out, just float at the top, just floating. And this could mean a number of things. This can be a normal thing. Uh, Beans definitely does it. Um, and Frankie definitely used to do it when he was younger a lot more. He still does to kind of hang it with his front legs up. Um, but <clears throat> you want to just be mindful that floating can also be a bad thing. So you want to just monitor their behavior. Um, but floating is not necessarily a cause for alarm. They could be looking for food. Um, they could be floating on top because they have swallowed some air and they're just buoyant. Um, you want to make sure though they are able to swim, they're able to get down to the bottom of their enclosures. Uh, and if you see your axolotl floating and it's not moving, then you definitely want to check on it um, because that could be a cause for alarm. All right, uh, I mentioned this in the number four, but this brings us to number three is gulping. So gulping is a fairly common axolotl behavior. They will gulp air at the top of the where the water line is, or they'll just gulp when they're submerged in water. And this can also be normal or not normal, depending on the scenario. Again, you would need to watch your axolotl's behavior, but gulping for air sometimes helps the axolotls float, become a little bit more buoyant, which can help them swim around their enclosures a little bit easier. Sometimes when they eat, they will gulp air to help them digest. This is also very normal. <clears throat> um, but something to be mind of, mindful of is they can gulp at the air if there's not enough aeration or gulp in the water if there's not enough aeration that you got going in your enclosure. 
you need to make sure you have an air stone or something like a sponge filter that can provide aeration of the water so they can breathe because they breathe through their gills. <clears throat> they can also, when they're in the water, if they're gulping with their mouths, can be for a num number of different reasons. They had just had a water change and they're gulping the fresh water that you put into their tank. Um, they may be gulping because they detect something weird in the water, like water that's been put in there that's not been dechlorinated or has some kind of chemicals in it. Or after they eat, they can sometimes gulp water as well. Again, just exercise discretion and caution and make sure you monitor your own axolotl's behaviors. Number two on the list is flicking their gills. Axolotls will flick their gills or curl their gills depending on the behavior and what's going on with your axolotl. It can mean a number of different things. Again, could be good, could be bad. Sometimes Frankie will flick his gills at me when he sees me come up to his closure because he's just inquisitive and curious about what's going on. But sometimes your axolotl will flick their gills if we have something wrong with the water parameters, like there was a water change recently, or there's chemicals in the water, or even if they are stalking their prey to eat, they may flick their gills. Um, they breathe through those, so if there's something going on with the oxygen level or the water, usually they'll flick their gills or they'll curl them. So curling of the gills is also something to watch. Typically, if the gills are curled, that means that something's going on. Either they're curious or they're not some, something's not quite right with their water. <sighs> All right, so brings us to number one on the list of axolotl behaviors. That's going to be thrashing or swimming really super fast. And I combine these two into one group here because they typically happen if something is off. So we'll start with thrashing. Um, I got a little bit of a video of Frankie doing this when I was trying to offer him a worm, but he was in quarantine during this time. He was not feeling good. He had fungus. Frankie's got the fungus video right up there. So Frankie was not feeling good and would shake his head because he did not want to eat. Um, and that was because he was sick. Um, also, when you do water changes, if the temperature is off or there are chemicals in the water, your axolotl can thrash or shake their head um, or thrash their body about like, like I just did. Um, and that typically means that something's not right. That's not a typical behavior. Um, typically, the only time you would see an axolotl shake their head and you don't want to be worried about it or thrash is if they're eating. They typically snatch their prey really, really quickly. And they can sometimes shake it. Or I don't know why I keep doing that. They can sometimes shake their heads back and forth when they're trying to swallow their earthworms. It, it typically is what we feed them. Um, sometimes you know, feed them bloodworms every now and then when they're younger, bloodworms. Um, and they typically can just inhale them without having to bite them and shake them. Also, um, if the axolotl is swimming super fast, like darting back and forth, that can also mean that there's something wrong. Uh, this typically only happens if they're spooked. If you don't let them know that they're there, they have very poor eyesight, as I mentioned earlier. So they can get spooked and swim very fast and they're not the best swimmer sometimes they can kind of bang into things and their skin is very very sensitive can get cut very easily um, they're salamanders so they don't have any kind of exoskeleton or scales like a reptile or an insect would so you just want to be careful when you're trying to 
handle them, which typically you never do, but you need to put them in a new enclosure or change their water, get them out of the enclosure. You're gonna have to get them and move them or if you're feeding them and they're in their hide or something like that, they may not realize you're there. Other than that, if they're just swimming really frantically back and forth, there may be something wrong. Maybe something going on with the water parameters, the water temperature, or you may have a sick, sick axolotl. And I would encourage you if you see some of these behaviors to monitor the situation, use discretion, and then address what's going on because you're gonna know your animal better than I would. But if you have questions about any of the behaviors or any behaviors you notice that aren't on the list, do me a favor and drop a comment down there. I'll definitely give it a heart and we can talk a little bit more about that. Happy to answer any questions that you may have. So guys, that pretty much wraps up the top five axolotl behaviors you might notice in your axolotl. Be, uh, <laughs> top five axolotl behaviors you might notice your axolotl exhibiting but it's not limited to just these behaviors, obviously. They swim around and do normal stuff like a normal salamander or juvenile salamander would. And if you have any questions, like I said, just leave a comment down below. Happy to talk it out with you. And that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.